Greetings, military enthusiasts. Welcome back to Robot Raid Channel. Today, we embark on a thrilling journey through the battlefields of World War II to unveil the most powerful tanks that reigned supreme. Get ready to witness the evolution of armored warfare as we count down the top 10 most powerful tanks of World War II. Tank number 10. Stug 3. The Sturmgeschütz 3, commonly known as the Stug 3, was a highly effective German assault gun that played a crucial role during World War II. Introduced in the early 1940s, the Stug 3 was initially designed to provide infantry support and eliminate enemy fortifications. However, its adaptability and success on the battlefield led to its extended use in various roles. Armed with a formidable 75mm Stug 40L, 43er L, 48 gun, the Stug 3 had the firepower to engage enemy tanks at considerable ranges. Its low profile and sturdy design made it an effective ambush weapon, earning it a reputation as one of the most versatile and powerful assault guns of the war. The Stug 3 saw action on multiple fronts, including the Eastern and Western fronts, and its production continued until the war's end. Its simplicity, reliability, and cost-effectiveness contributed to its widespread use and made it a key component of the German armored forces. The Stug IA's impact on armored warfare during World War II solidifies its place among the most powerful tanks of its time. Tank Number 9. T-3485. The T-3485 stands as one of the most iconic and influential tanks of World War II, representing Soviet engineering prowess and battlefield effectiveness. Introduced in 1944, the T-3485 was an upgraded version of the original T-34, equipped with an 85mm D5T gun that significantly enhanced its firepower. This medium tank boasted a well-balanced combination of armor, mobility, and firepower, making it a formidable adversary for German tanks. Its sloped armor design provided improved protection, and the T-3485 became a crucial asset in the Soviet Union's successful offensive campaigns on the Eastern Front. The T-3485's impact extended beyond its wartime contributions, as it continued to serve in various conflicts well into the post-war era. Its design influenced subsequent tank development and remains a symbol of Soviet military achievements during World War II. The T-34-85's versatility and effectiveness on the battlefield solidify its place as one of the most powerful tanks of the war. Tank Number 8. M4A-3 Sherman. The M4A-3 Sherman, an American medium tank, played a pivotal role in the Allied Armored Forces during World War II. Introduced in 1942, the M4A-3 featured a 75mm gun and a robust design that emphasized reliability and ease of production. It became the most widely used variant of the Sherman series, contributing significantly to the Allied victory. The M4A3 was known for its adaptability and versatility, serving in various roles such as infantry support, reconnaissance, and tank warfare. Despite facing challenges when pitted against heavier German tanks, the M4A3 Sherman's sheer numbers and continuous upgrades allowed it to maintain battlefield effectiveness. Its mobility and relatively simple maintenance endeared it to crews, and its widespread use in theaters of war from Europe to the Pacific underscored its importance in the Allied military strategy. The M4A3 Sherman's legacy endures as a symbol of American tank production during World War II and its crucial role in armored warfare. Tank Number 7. Comet Cruiser Tank. The Comet Cruiser Tank, a product of British engineering during World War II, represented a significant advancement in tank design and technology. Introduced in 1944, the Comet was the successor to the Cromwell tank and was specifically developed for the later stages of the war in Europe. Armed with a potent 77mm high-velocity gun, the Comet had improved firepower and better armor compared to its predecessors. Its low silhouette and well-balanced combination of speed, firepower, and protection made it a formidable opponent on the battlefield. The Comet played a vital role in the Allied forces' efforts during the closing stages of the war, contributing to the success of the British and Commonwealth armored units. Its agility and effectiveness against German tanks, coupled with its advanced features, positioned the Comet as one of the more powerful and versatile tanks of its time. 
The Comet Cruiser tank's design innovations influenced post-war tank development and underscored the importance of adaptability in armored warfare. Tank Number 6, Panzer V Panther The Panzer V Panther stands out as one of the most formidable tanks fielded by the German Wehrmacht during World War II. Introduced in 1943, the Panther was designed to address the shortcomings of earlier German tanks and to counter the Soviet T-34. Armed with a powerful 75mm KWK-42 gun and equipped with sloped armor, the Panther offered an excellent balance of firepower, protection, and mobility. Its innovative design and advanced features, such as interleaved road wheels for improved mobility, made it a formidable adversary on the eastern and western fronts. Despite some initial production challenges and mechanical issues, the Panther became a key element of German armored units, showcasing its effectiveness in both offensive and defensive operations. The Panther's impact on armored warfare during World War II and its reputation as a highly capable tank underscore its significance in the history of tank development. Tank Number 5. Tiger I. The Tiger I, a German heavy tank, is renowned as one of the most powerful and feared tanks of World War II. Introduced in 1942, the Tiger I was equipped with the formidable 88mm KWK-36L-56 gun, known for its accuracy and destructive power. Its heavy armor, ranging from 25mm to 120mm, provided exceptional protection, making it a formidable adversary on the battlefield. The Tiger I earned a fearsome reputation for its ability to engage and destroy enemy tanks at long ranges. Despite its production challenges and high resource requirements, the Tiger I had a significant impact on armored warfare, particularly during the early to mid stages of the war. Its presence on the eastern and western fronts contributed to the German FOSS's defensive capabilities and posed a considerable threat to Allied tanks. The Tiger I's powerful armament, robust armor, and overall effectiveness solidify its status as one of the most iconic and powerful tanks of World War II. Tank Number 4. IS-2. The IS-2, a Soviet heavy tank, played a crucial role on the Eastern Front during the latter stages of World War II. Introduced in 1943, the IS-2 featured a powerful 122mm D-25T gun, capable of penetrating the armor of German tanks at significant distances. Its thick sloped armor and well-designed turret made it a formidable adversary, providing excellent protection against enemy fire. The IS-2 contributed to the Soviet Union's successful offensive operations, showcasing its effectiveness in breaking through enemy lines and engaging German armored forces. The IS-2's deployment marked a shift in the balance of power on the Eastern Front, offering the Soviet Union a tank with superior firepower and protection. Its impact extended beyond World War II, as it continued to serve in various conflicts and influenced the development of subsequent Soviet tank designs. The IS-2's combination of firepower, armor, and mobility underscored its significance in the evolution of heavy tank warfare during the war. Tank Number 3. Tiger II. The Tiger II, also known as the King Tiger or Royal Tiger, was a German heavy tank that entered service in 1944. It was an upgraded version of the formidable Tiger I and featured even heavier armor and an improved 88mm KWK-43L-71 gun. The Tiger IA's frontal armor was exceptionally thick, reaching up to 180 mm, making it nearly impervious to many Allied tank and anti-tank gun rounds. This tank's firepower and armor made it a formidable adversary on the battlefield, capable of engaging and destroying enemy tanks from extended ranges. Despite its impressive capabilities, the Tiger II faced challenges related to its weight, which affected its mobility and mechanical reliability. Nevertheless, in engagements on the eastern and western fronts, the Tiger II proved to be a fearsome opponent. Its powerful armament and heavy armor contributed to its reputation as one of the most potent tanks of World War II, showcasing the German commitment to producing technologically advanced and heavily armored tanks. Tank Number 2. Crusader Tank. The Crusader was a British cruiser tank used during the early stages of World War II. Developed in the late 1930s, the Crusader was designed to provide fast, mobile firepower for armored divisions. It was equipped with a 2-pounder, 40mm, main gun and featured relatively thin armor for increased speed. 
The Crusader initially saw action in North Africa, where its speed and agility allowed it to outmaneuver and engage Axis tanks effectively. While its armor and firepower were modest compared to later tanks, the Crusader played a vital role in early desert campaigns. As the war progressed, the Crusader's limitations became more apparent, particularly in the face of more heavily armored adversaries. It was gradually replaced by newer tank models with improved armor and weaponry. Nonetheless, the Crusader's contribution to early British successes in North Africa and its role as a mobile and adaptable tank during its operational years mark its significance in the history of World War II tanks. Tank number 1. Char B-1. The Char B-1, a French heavy tank, made a notable impact during the early stages of World War II. Introduced in the mid-1930s, the Char B-1 featured well-sloped armor and a 47mm SAW-35 gun, making it one of the most heavily armored tanks of its time. Its innovative design included a cast hull with an integrated rotating turret, providing effective protection against enemy fire. The Char B-1 played a key role in the Battle of France in 1940, where its formidable armor and firepower initially confounded German forces and contributed to French defensive efforts. While the Char B-1 had impressive armor, it faced challenges in terms of speed and maneuverability. Its relatively slow pace and limited mobility hindered its effectiveness in rapidly changing battlefield conditions. Despite its eventual limitations, the Char B-1's initial successes highlighted the importance of armored warfare and influenced tank design concepts in subsequent years. The tank's unique design and role in early World War II battles contribute to its recognition among the most powerful tanks of that era. And that concludes our countdown of the top 10 most powerful tanks of World War II. These formidable machines revolutionized armored warfare and left an indelible mark on history. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Thank you for joining us at Robot Ray Channel, where the machines of war come to life.